What's going on, everybody? It's your boy TG Dev, and we are back with the Retail Miners. One star to six star for season nine's episode. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and turn the post notification bell to receive all my videos when they come out, man. Make sure you check all the links in the description for all my social media and my second and third channel, man. But on to the video, we're playing the Texas AM Aggies, man. Uh, eight and two, 11 in the country. So it's a very big game for that. Also, it's a big game for recruiting. We got a uh, very big very big recruits coming on campus and a recruit that I didn't even think would would have lasted this long, man. And um I'm just excited. Demetrius Anderson is the one I'm talking about, man. Number one D tackle in the country. We fought all the way down and now we're in a very competitive spot to get him. We're playing the team that he really wants to go to and we have his visit this week, man. We gotta get three plus sacks to get three hundred points. One fifty points for um having two TFLs and beating the conference team in the top twenty five team will give us even more points. We also have Jacob Childs on a visit today. Um, over 250 passing yards. That's pretty easy. Um, we also have um, Robert um, Albert Fleming committed, which is pretty good. Another commit. Um, we have, I think, the guard here. I think we get over 150 yards passing and running. We got over 100 rushing yards and over 250 passing yards for, to impress him, which should not be too hard. Um, another recruit we have coming is Keontae Walker. Um, the safety will always seem hard to me. I get four swatted passes or and have two interceptions for added 350 bonus points on top of the beating the calm the team. And we also have these other two recruits, Dimitri Weiler, who is a plus 16 gem. Both of them very good, man. Very good players. So we need this one just to get on their radar and really try to commit for them to commit to us. Um, I'm very excited. Especially for Jacob Childs and Demetrius Anderson. 6'8", 290. Like I want him on the inside. Very dominant presence. So, that looks pretty good. The recruiting, I'm telling you, it's it been it been turned up. It's not going to be a top 10 type of thing, but we're definitely getting better. I'm getting more used to really trying to hone in on the players that want to come to us and, you know, making the right, you know, decisions on who to keep and who to drop off. But on to the review... Lou Corso thinks it will be an upset and Texas A&M will get the win. Surely, I hope that won't happen because we need the, the best game we can have for the recruits. But Texas A&M is like a very capable team. They're top 100 in every single statistical category that you could be in. So it's going to be a tough game. It is an SEC opponent. You know, Texas A&M always give us good on ball games. So hopefully I do enjoy this gameplay and I'll see you on the field. everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. 
The Miners continue to sit on top, ranked number one in the country, and it seems with each passing week, the title picture comes into a much sharper focus. But all it takes to unleash complete and utter BCS chaos is one stumble by this number one ranked team. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. All right, man, first and 10, it is senior day, man. It's crazy. The season is almost at the end. But yeah, senior day for a lot of seniors is raining again. With every there. I'm spamming triangle, bro. No, he's nice, Wesley Davis. Good player. First and 10. Why do we have a lot of scenes on this team, though? Honestly, Chad Gray and Jaws Watson are first come to mind. I don't think we have no scenes on defense. Let's start. Yeah. That's exactly how you're supposed to play your zone, Eric. You just gotta finish, dog. You just kind of catch it. Second and seven. But that was great coverage, bro. Wonderful coverage. Second and seven. Good job, Clay. Great game. Great tackle, I mean. Real good play, boy. Third and seven. It's a great game trip. <laughs> great tackle, great play. Oh, Amanda Bando. What the... Uh why is he wide open, bro? Because Chris Jones is on the sideline checking nobody. I don't understand their, like, is, it, is that awareness or what is that? Like, you're not checking anybody, bro. Run, run. Good job, Jason. That's a beautiful play, boy. Taylor Smith. <laughs> It's like a girl name. Second and 12. You did, Chris. Good job, Chad. Help him out. I need to defend that by yourself, though, Chris. I mean triangle, bro. Calm down and be more careful because I guarantee you, nobody keeps throwing those passes. I am spamming the triangle button as hard as I can to make that tackle, make that pick. First and ten. Run. All right, man, first and 10. Senior day for Josh Watson and Chad Gray. Going to um, be sad to see them go. Good throw. Great throw, David. Do it to the uh, left of him because, you know, that linebacker was right there. That was a great throw, man. First and 10. Aha! I got bumped. No. He's holding his knee. Oh, God. I hope we got uh, a decent replacement in David Collins has really uh, took over the team. That's never good to lose one of the best players in the country. That's a bad throw, man. Throw to the outside, D.C. 
two quarters. Yo, we got to get off a block, bro. What is going on with the front seven? Like, they're getting pushed out the way. This is a big game, man. I got to keep you in. I'm, just, I'm not going to run it that much, but I need him in the game, bro. Second and two. Come on, get in there. Get back there. Motion. Good. That's how you keep contained, Craig. All right, third and five. Oh, Chris, because his zone covers his cheeks. You there, Eric? Oh, he's right there. He's right there, though, man. He's not even staying with him. All you gotta do is just stop and make the tackle. Why is that so open? Good tackle. Oh my God. Like, look at that, bro. That line is just destroying us. They're reestablishing the line of scrimmage 10 yards. They're dominating our front seven. Not even like close right now. Nothing. And the scary thing is, Texas A&M got a lot of recruits. Like they, they're getting a lot of big time recruits to come to their program next season. Second and ten. Good check down. Definitely a different team from USC. You can just tell they know how to play football the right way. Not that Pac-12 way. Not against USC, but, you know, it's a different brand of football. They will, they are the Big Ten now in my game. They will be in the future. So, <laughs> Get him! No way. Oh, wow. We got to get that sack. E. First and ten, seven's up. Watch the run. Bring him back. Bring him back. You can tell Texas ain't even scared of us. They they have no intimidation about us at all. Like they want to win. They came to win this football game. First and fifteen. Now they got no reservations about us. Damn it, man. It's smart. I thought I'm gonna throw that slant route. Second and 12, come on. People don't break. Run. Come on. Good tackle. I can't have my damn near 300 pound D lineman getting stiffed on by the running back, bro. I just can't allow that. I can't have that happen. Come on, Joe. Come on, man. We can't give him another third down conversion. Run. Get there. Nice, Chris Jones. Good play, man. Good man, we're back on offense here after um, a great job on defense, but not allowing no score at all. Um, great stop by Chris Jones, and they tried to punt it. I mean, do a field goal, and they missed. We threw a pick last time on offense with a bad throw by David. Not, that's not necessarily a Stevie. It was just a bad throw. It's all good, though. Second and seven. Good throw. Ah, I kind of threw a back shoulder. Third and seven. I'm not sure if that post was open with Chad. I hope not. I'll be mad if I missed that. Second and 
Oh man, I think I missed another receiver downfield. They're playing too aggressive. Come on. There we go. What is... What is he doing? All right, man, seven zip. It's been a tough game so far for Der um, David Collins. Texas a and not really giving him nothing. Pass. It's a good play. I got I got to go underneath. Throw the ball underneath. David is probably cold. We got two players on our defense cold right now. Like that's unacceptable, bro. Why are everybody so cold right now? The E. Good play, Eric. Second and eleven. I don't like people being cold, bro. Damn it, man. I seen it like open it up and develop, but I couldn't get on the linebacker to help him with that. They definitely throw it to the running back, so. Get there! Release Marquise! Stay up, boy! Go! Stay up and run! Oh, he's a beast. He's a guy. Go, Marquise! Go! Stay up, boy! What a play by Marquise Tyson. He is great at jumping those short routes, man. Look at him. Beautiful. Stayed on his feet. All right. David Collins got to just calm down. Let's get a good possession. Yo, what is going on? He's throwing Stevie's all over the field. It gave me a little worried. Now that should have been number three. There we go. I just got to throw it short. It's raining. I think the rain. It depends on like how good he start off. He hasn't started off very good, so the rain is affecting him more than it usually would. That's my belief. Anyway, come on. God, throw it. He had him beat too, man. We got to throw him more up the field. I'm going to play action here. I'm not liking that halfback draw at all. So we got no blitz. There we go. Yo, there ain't no way he's missing that throw. There's no way David Collins is missing that throw like that, bro. What is going on? What is that, DC? Blitz. Damn. All right, man, first and 10, seven and three. David Collins, we all know he having a tough game. As y'all know, he go through, he, he has a tough life, so I just gotta try to refocus him. Get Clay. Uh, I can't like hi Clay. I trust you to be the best player on the field when it's one on one. I can't, like you can't get beat like that, bro. First and ten. Moin. Run, Chris. E. Good work. We gotta shake off. Um, Offense is defense right now. We gotta make a play. It's one of them games. It's one of them games. He's gotta lock in. Toss. Good work. Good work. That's a uh, TFL, bro. 39. Come on. Inside 
Good work, baby. I mean, first and ten. I'm gonna start running the ball more because David obviously not playing well. I just don't want Paris to get hurt because he is playing with an injury right now. They getting over there like just. You just tell the difference of the teams, bro. It's a good team we're playing against. Try to run the ball. Just good right here. Pick up. Yep. Yep. Good. It looked good. It looked good. All right, man. Senior day, big time recruits. There's a lot of stuff going on. We got back to adversity. Yep. 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 Good. Lean on P more. Lean on Paris. Second and one. Excuse me. Cut back. Yes, sir, Paris. Beautiful. Beautiful cut back, boy. It's okay. When it's time to throw the ball, Derek, David will be ready, I believe. We got one more up. So good on everything. Good job, Brent. Yes, sir, DC. Good work, baby. Great coverage down the field. No one's open. Made a play with your feet. What you got to do? First and goal. Touchdown. Allen Jordan, baby. There you go, DC3. There you go. It sounds crazy, y'all, but Alan Jordan does not have his dreads. I do not remember editing that. So he cut his dreads off. I like, who the hell is this guy? That's Alan Jordan with no dreads. That's her Iron. Eric Irons, baby. Great play, dog. But yeah, Eric Irons did not have his dreads. I was like, who? Who is this guy? <laughs> it is Eric Irons. Let's make a play, y'all. Good catch. That's a good receiver, man. That's a good receiver. Wesley Davis. Good route. I think he caught that easily. Yeah, that's an NFL catch. All hands. Both feet in. That's an NFL catch. Thought so. I thought so. It looked, it looked like a, you know, it looked like one. Come on, man, man up, band up. You know how we give it up. Let's go. We got the double. It got blitz here. Marquise Tyson is guarding the running back over here. Yes, sir. Come on, E. Come on, E. Good play, dog. Second and eighteen. Yo, he's a ball hog. He's a ball hog, man. What a play by Matt Landry. What a ball hog. Great play, man. Let's go first and 10. We got to capitalize after a big play by the defense. Good ball. Good job, DC. That's how you stay in there and deliver a football. Moxie, baby. I trust you. I trust you. You know, you know we here, D. DC, you know we here. You good, boy. You good. Touchdown. Sir Chad. Chad Gray. Come on. 
Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. The first half was far from perfect in terms of ball security, but, but it wasn't really that sloppy. Uh, many of the errors seemed to be errors of aggression, maybe fighting for extra yards, trying to make a play. So maybe you look at it from the standpoint, David, both teams feel as if they have a chance to take control of the game or just cut down on the mistakes. Yeah, you, you had successful drives, you had successful plays, but you keep making mistakes that keep setting you back. And it's always tough because running backs, they want to get those extra two, three, four, five yards. But a lot of times reaching that ball out or not tucking that ball away properly is more damaging than getting that extra yard. And so quarterbacks, they want to make the home run play. They want to throw it down the field, throw that nice little pretty fade where the girls are going to be talking about it later and they're going to be looking really good after the game. Sometimes you got to throw it away, throw it in the stands. So whichever team can right that wrong, can get those turnovers fixed, offensively they'll be fine and defensively it even helps them even more because it doesn't put them in bad situations. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. I mean, 17-7 started the second half. Our last couple drives have been pretty good. You know, we've been better than our first few drives. We threw them picks. Uh, DC's had to settle down. You know what I'm saying? We're throwing a little erratic throws, but I trust him. You know what I'm saying? I really have a lot of trust in David, and I don't really get too worried if you have a bad game. Because I know what he's capable of. I know how he can bounce back. So, he's okay. Oh, Marcus. I had to get him the ball. Yeah, I know Jerome and cut the ball today. Second and five. That was great coverage. Nothing was really open. Like, they was baiting me to throw a lot of stuff there. All right, third and 15. Third and 15 coming up. Ball in the 31. Good ball. Beautiful. Big first down, man. What a dot. What a dot. First and 10. Wonderful throw by uh, David. Great catch by Brent. Good work, P. Good work, P. Yes, sir, baby. Yes, sir, P. First and 10. Boom, boom, boom. At the guard. Come on, Will. That was slow. You got to make a decision or something, bro. I wanted to go inside, but like I should have ran inside. Second and eleven, got to play action here. Good ball! What a throw, David! Oh, that's beautiful, man. What a freaking throw by David Collins right there. Come on. Beautiful. <laughs> yes, sir. Chad tiptoe through the window. <laughs> I like that. I mean, 7-24. We're doing very good so far, man. The defense really buckled up. The offense is, you know, calmed down. They in their own you know, lane now as well. Get off me. Good job, Clay. Good work, Clay. Yo, that's beautiful. She had the block and made a great tackle on a running back, man. Every time, Clay. Every time. Yeah, he in the zone. Run. Good. Whoa. Great tackle. We got to get that tackle, though, man, because I'm trying to impress that D lineman. Like, we need those TFLs, uh, Chad. 
Hijo. Where's Dan going? Holy shit. He threw I was I knew that was gonna happen. He just threw Dan. He threw Dan like he wasn't even there, bro. He just stayed in his back post. It's like he's scared to go make a tackle. Jesus. First and ten. Is that Craig? Eric. Nice. Good word. Come on, Craig. Stay contained, bro. Stay contained. Second and eight. Man of Bando. He's cold again. Man of Bando. Now we give it up. Run. Oh, God. Uh, that's way too many yards, bro. First and ten. And a corner making seven tackles is not good. Thirteen yard run by Taylor Smith. Uh, our tackling is just horrendous. It's just like looks so it looks so weak when they get thrown like that. But I'm like, how are you like getting thrown like that? Play action. It's wide open. Good play. That's a good play. I mean, first and 10 here, 14-24. You know, a and trying to fight like I would expect them to. Here we go, Brent. Big strike. Oh, I don't remember the last time I seen Brent drop a pass. Oh, man. Sorry, right. second and 10. Here we go, Jerome. Here we go, 14 yard pickup. That should be a touchdown though. <laughs> we shouldn't be on the field right now for offense. First and 10. Not one but two drops. Second and ten. Ball on the thirty nine. It's all good. We got about to adversity. Good run. We just gotta keep battling through adversity, baby. You gotta keep battling through adversity. Third and one. Four seven main in the third quarter. Got Lorenzo in there. And we didn't get it. So the halfback loses about two on the run. Man, four for three, 24 14. I think this is a good, not a decent decision. Middle of the field, you know what I'm saying? There we go. He didn't get it. He didn't fucking get it, man. And I think that's what happened here. In my mind, they'd have been better off punting and forcing them to drive. God damn it. 14-24. I'm saying we're not that bad of a field goal position. Eric. Oh, my God, man. That's just not. First and 10. That's, ah, that's irritating, man. Come on, the one-handed tone, Chris. Oh my God. 14-24. God, that would have been it, Chris. Toss. There, Courtney. Good. 
Come on, man. Good play. Third and ten. I think Craig Walker might be a senior. Pass. There. Nope. Good. Come on, man. They're going for it. Fourteen twenty-four. Not surprised. I kind of think cooking a field goal would still be a same point game. No. I mean, 21-24, um, ain't him on down by three. We'll try to keep the ball on the ground here. Be smart with it. Not too conservative, but I do want to be smart with the ball. Damn it. Good run, though. Good run. Not mad. Second and four. Those plays was horrible. That I thought he was That's me, bro. That's me. Third and four. I thought we were doing a different route, bro. There we go, Brent. Good catch. First down, baby. Come on. First and ten after a great pickup. Chad. Good catch, baby. Come on. Good work, Chad. Come on, first and ten after a big pickup. The ball. The catch. Good job, Allen. Let's go second and one. Got a halfback draw here. This play never really works for me. Worked that time. First down. That's definitely uh, working right there. First and ten. Texas El Paso is up by three. Play action. Good job, Jerome. Beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, twenty-one thirty-one. This is a big possession for A and M. It could be like one of those really game-defining possessions. Down by ten. Clock is running out. Good job, Dan. Good tackle, boy. Five yard pickup. I don't think they need to. They did not panic mode yet, but the clock is definitely getting um, slow. Definitely getting slow. Motion. Go. Dan. You can't be. Dan Atkins, you can't be serious, bro. I'm not even, I didn't try to do a big hit. I just tried to tackle him. He just can't do anything, right? I don't know what's wrong with bro. First and 10. He might move the corner or something, bro. I don't know. Yeah, he can't. Come on, Chris. Get him out of bounds. Chris is... I don't, I don't know what he's doing out there. He's like lost. Second and one. He's under some heat. Get him. Fumble. And he get the ball back. This is why you need to know where the ball is at all times. The boy got flipped, got up and got the sack. <laughs> you call 
motor. <laughs> Let's go having a motor right there. Third and seven. Come on. What the fuck, Marquise? I knew I should have stayed on him, bro. Where is he? Where's he going? Where's bro going right there? I can't even. What? What is happening? Not a game going crazy right now. Not a game going crazy. Can I pick the play now? Thank you. They won't let me pick the play. Come on, inside back on the receiver. Get it! I saw that. God damn it, Clay. I mean, first and 10. I know only down by three, but we do got to get with 250 um, passing yards as well. So I can't be too conservative. I am trying to complete that for the recruits. Throw it away. I just threw the ball away in time. I just threw it away in time. Second and 10. Come on, you got him beat. Oh, you're joking. Oh, my God, man. That's me. That's Coach Tyree. I, I told David to do that, bro. I'm trying to impress the recruits now win the freaking ball game. How many picks are we going to drop? Second and ten. Like, come on, bro. Run. Come on, third and five. I don't think they're in a position where they need to go for it, but they might. You know what I'm saying? Might be four down territory regardless, so. No. There's no. There's just no way, bro. It's a beautiful throw. Motion. Get clear. What is going on? We keep dropping picks. Oh my God. Dan Landry got it. Thank you to Ball Hawk. Thank you, Landry. I guess the only player on defense who can actually catch the ball. And I know y'all, this is stupid, but I gotta get over 250 passing yards. He was on that route too. He was on that route. <laughs> That's a scary thing. Like he's he was on that play. First and ten. That's why that play action worked so well for a first down. They weren't sure if it was a run or a bounce. There you go, chat. Alright, ten more yards, y'all need ten more yards. First and ten yards to go. First and ten. Marcus. Stay in bounds though. What the hell? There we go. Pass to 250. 
We really had to fight for that one. We had to fight. DC had a tough first quarter, first first quarter and a half, honestly. But, you know, he got his head back on right, and um, he led his team to victory. Pierce Alexander was a little banged up throughout that whole game, sprained his elbow. So, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to, like, do too much for him, get him hurt, seriously. So, you know, but we won. Only by a short margin. We I think we impressed most of our offensive recruits. I'm upset, though, because we didn't really impress the um, D linemen like I needed to. We didn't get enough TFLs or uh, sacks or anything to impress him. So I hope it was enough to try to sway him because we beat because a m is his number one. So we beat them and we did win the game, you know what I'm saying, on uh, senior day and everything. So hopefully it was more than enough to impress him. Check these stats, though. 19 for 31, that's not that good. Not horrible, but he, he's better than that. 256 yards, just got it. Four touchdowns, three interceptions. That's not good. He's been on um, interception list for the, like, the last three games. We lost that streak. Um, we had over 100 yards total. Missed it by two with Paris. Um, pretty balanced receiving attack. Chad Gray had a great senior day. Josh Watson did not. I tried to get in the ball, but, you know, it just wasn't working out. I um, want to give it one set for Will Beach. Chris Jones led the team in tackles. Good uh, good job right there. See, only one TFL. Two. I think it was three, though. I'm not sure. But um, uh, Matt Landry's ball hawk, two picks. We should have way more than three picks. We should have like five picks. It's crazy. But hopefully y'all did enjoy that gameplay, man. And I'll see you at the recap. Close call. Yes, it was, man. 31-28. Tough ball game against Texas A&M Aggies. Um, UTEP eight game winning streak survives a scare against Texas A&M. It was a tough game, you know. It was in the rain. DC start off slow. It was senior day, so Chad Gray really showed out. John Watson not so much. He wasn't really a, a vocal point of the offense this um this game. Pierce Alexander also got hurt. Um, so we fought through a lot of adversity on offense. Um, defensively, we had three picks, a couple sacks. We could have way more picks. Chris Jones missed a one hand that would have been so pretty. But overall, I think it was a great game. The boys really fought hard for the senior day and for the recruits. Hopefully, the recruits see that and um, hopefully come to El Paso, man. But hopefully, y'all did enjoy the gameplay, man. Smash like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Make sure you check the link in all. Make sure you check the description for all the links to all my social medias and my second and third channel. Um, it's being but real. I love all y'all. Peace and love. I'm out, man. Peace.